then guys in the another reaction and analysis but this time it's not sodas but everything else will be pretty much the same i will stop and talk about everything i will find interesting Okay, so I can already tell you that the music in this video will be great. Legio Sinfonica creates Warhammer music, epic music. Because of the lighting, I don't think this is a slow motion, so probably this is a ship and it was damaged and artificial gravity is off now. Secondly, this is Mark X armor, so we are talking about Primaris mines, so we are talking about the, the latest part of the lore. Also, I don't see any chapter marks or anything like that. It seems that his whole armor is grey, and this is unusual, but maybe we will see something more later. So this is very interesting for 8000 years. This implies that this chapter, because I think he talks about the chapter itself, was around for 8000 years. So it's not Ultima founding or any latest founding chapter. Of course it doesn't mean anything because maybe he talks about Imperium as a whole or maybe the chapter is even older, but Still, it means something. Okay, so here you can see that it's actually a ship and it was damaged so much that the order is to abandon it. And more importantly, the ship class, light cruiser, and its name, Relentless. Of course, it can be also ship's variant, because I don't know them too well, but I believe its name. This is very interesting. Legion was a Horus Heresy era formation of Space Marines, let's say. It was numbering thousands of Space Marines, depending which Legion we are talking about, it could be over 100,000 Space Marines. For example, chapter in Codex Astartes numbers 1,000 Space Marines. I honestly don't think that Imperium would allow such a force to exist at this point of time, but everything can change. And here you can see Tyranids, there is no doubt about it. This is alien race that pretty much eats all the life on the planet and moves on. Everything left behind is dust and rocks, and by many they are considered the biggest threat to the Imperium. The end times, also called time of ending, is the latest part of the lore in Warhammer 40k. This is the time when pretty much everything goes against Imperium. 
and many believe that there will be some kind of a final battle. When Emperor comes back and his Primarchs and pretty much everybody comes with everything they got. So this is classic void battle, but for me it's interesting that orc ships looks a lot like imperial ones, I mean you can still see the shape of it. And of course it's possible for example they could capture it or they use some remains of them. But anyway that's not the way they are usually depicted. It's more common with for example tanks, looted tanks. In the background you can see the favorite tactic of orcs, which is ramming. And this is truly beautiful and it hurts to cut the music honestly. If you want to show a difference between something you should take a part of this, a part of that and put it side, side by side. You get this effect of a shock and you can clearly see the difference here between the ugly dirty battle somewhere up there and the piece and white color of everything below. The music also changes and even if you have the eyes closed, you would feel that something changed. Okay, so quick info about that falling ship in the background. Anything that dies somewhere near the planet will sooner or later fall on it. If you have read Gaunt Ghosts, you know about it. So this is something new for me, I've never seen anything like that and re it reminds me of a Pip Boy from Fallout. More importantly you can see that the drop pod missed the drop zone, which is understandable because they left damaged ship, probably even destroyed ship. What people don't know is the fact that drop pod can be actually controlled to some degree and it actually has a pilot. So this is a detail, but as you already know I love talking about details. My time nears plus that medical equipment implies in my opinion the death of this captain, chapter master. Space marines die on the battlefield or because of wounds if they don't have access to a medical equipment. They don't die because of age or you know peacefully on their homeworld. That's not the way it is, and if he's talking about something like that, it's very strange for me. The fate of all of us is now in your hands. The planet from our visions has been found. When I am gone, you will lead the crusade across the galaxy. You will call for allies, yet none. 
Okay, so here we can talk about a lot of things. So firstly, you can see that this chapter master or well, somebody important anyway, has color scheme and symbol of eagle on his shoulder. And our captain doesn't have that. For me, there are two explanations of that and both are connected to shame, but in a different way. Firstly, Space Marine can wear grey armor if he wants to cut off from his chapter Legion because it went traitor, for example. He doesn't want to be a part of it anymore. He feels shame because of that. Secondly, and in this case more likely, it's about exile. Sometimes chapter or even legion can decide that this space marine or even whole unit is unworthy and banish it. Part of this penalty can be also removing the colors and heraldry of the chapter. I don't recognize this chapter at all, but this color reminds me of Blood Angels, but it doesn't mean anything at all. What I find very symbolic while looking at it, the firstborn marine, the older generation, passes his mission on the primaris marine. Old and new, and in many chapters it didn't work as well. So again we can see the eagle, but this time it is on the purple background and the eagle is gold. Purple is very specific color and it screams for me Emperor's children. But as we have already seen, the armor itself doesn't have at all purple color. And again we can see that these chapters uses both Firstborn Marines and Primaris Marines, so it's not Ultima Founding. So I've never seen anything like that, but it screams for me Predator Drone, if you know what I mean. This is very interesting, in exile we still serve. It's a bit strange kind of exile if you have still connections with your chapter master. And I don't think that the whole chapter is exiled from the Imperium. Anyway, to some degree this confirms why they wear grey armor. Do you know what this is? Because I probably know. It's very specific, but for now I will say one word, cathedral. So I was right and it's Imperator class Titan. It's the biggest Titan there is. And there is often a description that it carries cathedral on his back. And again, there are so many things to talk about. Firstly, I believe they are still fighting orcs, but these defenses don't look like orcs at all. They look very symmetrical and I don't see... maybe I can see only two WA banners. This can be explained very simply that orcs took over some kind of a PDF or imperial guard 
defenses and didn't have time to make them more orky. What surprises me is that at least on this shot the Imperator class Titan is alone. Titans work as legions or at least a part of them. Imperator class Titan is very valuable and should be protected at all cost. And if you think that wow he is so powerful he doesn't need anybody you should check Betrayer Horse Heresy book and what happened to Oberon, Imperator class Titan. Of course he can carry Skittery forces on his back, but it's a different story. Secondly, this is very important Titan, you can compare it to a general and you don't really see general on the battlefield without his forces. Maybe, just maybe, it's the last Titan and it's fighting on its homeworld. It would also explain why he is helping the space marines that, as their chapter master said, won't find any allies. Finally, a little detail that I'm not even sure about. Is the scale right? I mean, for me, Dreadnought should be a bit smaller, but in that case you wouldn't probably see at all space marines even as a dots. And this is a nice little detail, I won't talk a lot about it, but this Space Marines is protecting probably his fallen brother. The apothecary will recover his gene seed and it's the most valuable resource of Space Marines. You use it to create new Space Marines and it doesn't matter if you have armor, tanks, vehicles and fleet if you don't have Space Marines themselves. Ok, so firstly go and support Skylord. I mean, if you want to see more of that, go support him, as Patreons, as subscribers, any way you want and can. And maybe Legio Symphonica, I guess he did something. <laughs> Jokes aside, go and subscribe to him too. So about the video itself, I love the animation, because it's 2D, not 3D. It reminds me of if the Emperor had text-to-speech device. In the description Skylord is writing about transition to 3D and if you don't want you don't have to. This kind of animation is cool and unique, but anyway even if you make 3D it will be probably unique too. I cannot wait for the entire movie and I keep my fingers crossed that everything goes right for you. I can't even imagine what kind of uh, projects you will create with the experience you are now gathering together. As for you guys, links in the description below, stay safe and see you soon.